there it is all covered up and while the, while the tape um, is settling, sorry about that, I think about what I'm going to say before I aim the camera and I tend to pan too fast, I'm sorry if I did, but you can just smooth these down on here, okay? Now, here's what will happen here. You take this, you put some glue on here, and you stick that in there. You take one of these, and you stick it in there like that. And then you simply wait uh, the glue I'm going to use. You put, you apply the glue, and you wait 10 minutes. And then you stick it together, and it says uh, you have one chance and one chance only to get it on there. It's not an epoxy. Epoxy is too much work. And I want something that will hold it uh, steady and secure. Uh, by itself and epoxy won't do that unless you're on a flat surface and uh, that's a big pain in the uh, as they say in Portuguese or tracero or a pain in the buttocks so I'm going to do that that is glue these uh, on here and then we'll come back another time and glue the other ones okay I've used this before this is called Amazing Goop. It says it bonds forever. And I want it to bond forever. So, I'm going to lay a, a, a bead along the uh, surface there and uh, then I'm going to go off and do something for 10 minutes like it said for me to do. And then I'll put it together and set it up someplace for uh, it to cure. So I always find something to stick in the uh, nozzle there to keep it from uh, plugging up and save the aggravation. So we just put that back up and I will, uh, I will go in interesting thing about buying paint when you're my age, I'm 56 well, I don't know what age when I was born I guess they think that uh, I'm going to be dumb enough to uh, inhale paint fumes but I worked at you know, tannery in the finishing department and I've uh, inadvertently inhaled enough lacquer uh, fumes to uh, get the whole city of Chicago a buzz and uh, <clears throat> it hasn't done anything for me or to me but then again maybe there's nothing up there to begin with in the first place anyway but that's just an interesting sidelight so these things can be um, any size period depending on what you want to do and find a find a prototype that you can base this on okay so we'll just let it sit there and uh, we'll come back Okay, it's been five to ten minutes like it says, and it's hot out here today, so it's probably set up a little quicker than what I had planned, so I'm going to insert these uh, beams. Okay, now remember I said not to throw away your waste material, so we're going to have to have a uh, cross brace, because um, on the real structure they had it. And here it will uh, help keep everything engaged so um, it won't be wider at the top and narrower at the bottom. Okay, now, the distance between this beam here and this beam here is 2 and 7 eighths inches. So, this down here, when I checked it, is close to the same thing. And then mark where you put this across because in order to get the look equal, you're going to have to have all these cross beams even. Or else they'll fire the engineering company that designed this thing.
and uh, I am the engineering company, so I can't fire myself. I tried, but nothing gets done if I do. So this will take care of it for now, and I'm going to take off on the bike path, and uh, who knows what I'll find along the way. Okay, I'm back from the bike trip, and hopefully the uh, beams there have glued sufficiently where I'm going to try and glue the other two. Okay, I'll bring these inside and uh, see what happens. It's been about five minutes, so I'm going to turn this on the side and we'll see what happens. All right, now the glue is set and it's sturdy enough to stand up on its own. Any little off-sideness there can be trimmed with some sandpaper after I uh, make sure the glue is dried, okay? I happened to find my oxide red primer, so I decided to just dust it lightly with oxide red. And that'll do it. until tomorrow when we uh, add some more stuff.